Hey guys. I actually forgot about something real quick. Okay. So I, I just want to let you guys know what's what's happening spirit what's happening spiritually. Okay. Um that's always important to know. And it's always different for everybody, but it's it's still the same universal energy, guys. Okay. So if you are to stand still, you know, if say the universe puts puts out a standstill, it's kinda like it's your job to push through or it's your job to recognize what's happening. Okay. So let's see what's happening spiritually <clears throat> for the next few days. There's always alignments. There's always transitions. There's always rebirths. There's, you know, this one really stuck. It's the seven of pence. Okay. So it's like a lot of you guys right now are in the energy of feeling unfulfilled. Okay. So this is basically sitting here waiting for your garden to grow. All right. Because it, it, it's, it's that energy of where for some people it's legitimately like, where's my harvest? Where, where is it? Where's all my hard work? Why, why is nothing but it, It's almost like, it, you know what I'm seeing is that that plant, um, a Venus flytrap. Okay. So it's like, I feel like you're stuck in Venus energy right now. I, I feel like it's like, eat, eat me up, spit me out, do what you have to do. Okay. Because it, it's, you're feeling lack of success. You're feeling unfulfilled. And this is what it was like, almost like the hang up, what I was talking about. It's almost like some of you need to, to be in this energy to, to realize what you should be grateful for or where you should be putting your hard work, you know, um, it can have to do with work. If you're not happy at work and you're feeling unfulfilled, you know, they want you in this energy to recognize like, hey, why why are you investing time where I shouldn't be investing time? So right here with this one single card is telling me wherever it is you're investing your time and a majority of your thoughts is kind of negative. All right, so it's up to you to get yourself out of that. And if you're not in this energy, that's great, okay? But universally, somewhere, somehow, each and every single individual, there is something where you, you feel unfulfilled. And it's kind of like, it's time to figure it out, okay? So it's like you're in that energy for a reason, all right? And you have the Ace of Wands. So it's, it's the power of the fire. It's the root. Okay, so it's like, once you really kind of figure out what it is that really truly unfulfills you, okay, where it is you're not feeling successful, once you focus on that, and you accept it, and you realize, how do I fix this, next thing you know, you're in fire energy, is that illumination, it's the ace of fire, it's something will be illuminated for you to step out of this, okay, um, others, you're not in this right now and others, you're just, you're in this illumination. You're in the go, 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 but be careful with go, 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 because that means you're just figuring out what made you kind of discontent because it's like you're in the energy where everybody's in that energy of what do I truly want to invest in right now? If I invest in this, where will it get me? You know, but it's like, you got to have those positive thoughts. You have to have passion, creativity. You got to use your intuition here too. All right, in order to proceed. So really think about what it is that is so damn discontent in your life, okay? Because only you can get yourself to... To getting to that ace of fire and it's the hangman so it, it, it is a little bit of a delay because it's like 
if you're going to rush a process, you're going to get hung up because this is an important time in somebody's life and in, in their time period right now where they're, they are unfulfilled. Yeah. Unfulfilled, just having, you know, something, you know, lack of passion or one night stands or not seeing something properly, you know, it's like, this has to do with emotion. Okay. Um, it's like the mighty waters. So it's like, I don't know if you were going too fast and running just off of adrenaline. Okay. And, and there's no emotions, but whatever it is you're dealing with in the next few days, it, it's emotional. And they want you to realize what truly, truly is unfulfilling in your life right now, because some of you would just go, go, go. And it's like you, you tuck something under the rug. You, you can't be tucking nothing under the rug. All right. And now we have the three of cups. So it's like the Lord of Abundance. So it, it's as soon as you accept, recognize, release, you don't let certain energies get the best of you. And you realize that there is this three of cups. There is this abundance. There is this infinite love. There is, you know, the divine giving you gifts of whatever it is you desire or crave, but you got to be worthy of them. It's not just here, take a bone, I'm going to give you a bone. It, it's not like that. You know, that that's like, that's like tricky energy. This is more recognize what actually makes you happy. Start to go after what makes you happy. Emotionally, fulfilled not go 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 that you're just you're so busy that you're not you're not picking up on something because you don't this lesson will just repeat itself this energy will just repeat itself or you will stay in this energy okay um or you will come back to it okay so it's like if you don't realize right now what's unfulfilling you and you don't try to work on it you're just gonna get hung up all right, and when you're hung up, you're not going to have that abundance, whether it's wealth, health, money. Okay. Um, so let's find out what your blockage is for the Seven of Pens because that's, this is what's really unfulfilling you. So for those who really don't know what's unfulfilling you, to me it would be work. It would be anything materialized. Um, but it, it might not be, it could be something else. All right. So it's the wheel. So what's blocking you, it, A is the universe. Okay. But like basically you, because it's like, they want something to go in your direction, but you're not seeing it. You, you're too focused on gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give it's like, you're just waiting for something to, to be illuminated but I don't, I don't feel like that's going to be illuminated because it's like the, the hanging you up because someone's not focused on their emotional well-being on every aspect of their life. So it's like, it's, to me, it's like someone's blaming the universe for their blockage, but it's, it's, it's time to slow down and, and really, really, really consider what it is that you feel so unfulfilled with. Because chances are it's you and where you're at with whatever this is, okay? So it's like you feel like the universe is blocking you, but it's like it's, it's, it's like they are and they're not because you're like you're not seeing something. So there's a big difference there because you're not recognizing it. You've been stuck in a situation for too long that has been way too unfulfilling. Not seeing the passion in something anymore. It's like when you lose lack, lack of passion, what do you have? You know, at that point, you're just working on everyday energy, but who knows what type of dose of energy you're getting? Who knows what you're tucking under the rug? Who knows where your life will lead? Because there's no there's no desire, okay? Um, what's your blockage for this Ace of Wands? But to me, it's you're your own blockage right now, okay? Because it's like... You don't want to recognize something. And it's, it's the lovers. So it's like there's a, there's a situation on the board. And it's like you don't want to make the decision. You don't want to look at something 
in a powerful way or a passionate way. Okay. Um, or you don't want to look at something as being a commitment. It's There's something here. Or you don't want to use your intuition. It's something. Because this lover is a blockage. So to me, you could be with somebody where you're extremely unfulfilled, but yet you're doing nothing. And it's like your relationship is going nowhere. You're not talking about it. You guys aren't happy. For some. And for others, this is just talking about you're not listening to your inner voice. Because this lover is the voice of the divine. And some of you need to cut the cords. Whether or not someone gets asked out of something. But like, I don't want to really look at it that way either. But <clears throat> this is that card where it's like somebody's about to slice their own throat. And not like literally, but like, you know what I mean. So it's like, unless you need to confront a lover, you need to confront a, a certain situation, you're not going to have you happy. So it's... It's almost like the force of life, this love situation is at the, the front force. It, it's, it's the universe that's in charge, you know, and it's like someone doesn't want to accept that. Could be for some. But it's like you're not listening to your intuition. It's like it's your own blockage because this is the voice of the divine. All right, this is passion. And it's like you're not going after your passion for some passion is you're lacking passion could you have sexual thoughts and tendencies and masturbation and all that stuff yes but that is not passion that is illusionary you know it's 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 temporary make you feel better but it's nothing's actually taken place what's up with the hangman to me it's kind of Pisces energy but it's ironic in the beginning of a spread I said you know universal hang up so it's almost like I knew that hang up was out there for some of you guys but not all of you but some of you you're dealing with the straight up Pisces but um whatever it is is, is emotion so emotionally temperance okay so it's like emotionally you guys are just distraught it's, it's like healing, but it's like, you're not healing the right way. It, it's And I know that's hard to hear, but it's like, it's like somebody just wants a reconciliation because this is the daughter of reconciliation. So it's like, it's like, you're stopping yourself from reconciling with someone. So again, it's that Sag energy where it's like, you're going too fast. It's like, you're not, you're not really trusting your emotions. Like you're not being patient on you or someone else. You know, it's, it's, or you don't want to heal a situation. To me, if that's the case and you're avoiding, then it's, it's your own inner being that you don't want to heal. It's like, you want to rush a process and it's like, you can't. You can't rush this type of process, you know, and it's like, you got to be patient right now with yourself, loving, caring. You got, you got to take care of yourself. You got to nurture yourself. You have to flow. And it's like, I don't know if somebody can deal with getting in tune with their emotions and that's what the universe is asking you to do is you know be one with your own emotions because it's lack of passion for whatever you're feeling stuck you're, you're not incorporating passion you're not you're not seeing how life is supposed to be led Tell me about the three of cups. So what's stopping this abundance is, is what, what's your blockage? What's blocking it? Okay. Some of you are going to relate to this and some of you will not because you won't, you won't want to. You won't want to see it, you know, which is okay. All in due time. And it's the knight of cups. So it's like you're only blocking yourself, you know, from, from this abundance, from this love, from this reconciliation. So it looks like masculine energy or just in general it's a masculine on my card but like going right towards the daughter of reconcile so it's like 
your happiness lies with somebody with like a reconciliation, you know, like it's like a reconciliation is, is, is kind of needed to heal a situation. Um, but you could, the lovers is here too. You could have just had a one night stand with somebody and it's like, it turned into way more and it, it's like, you don't get it. There's something you're like, you're not processing, but again, it's like, because that passion is, it, find the passion for what it is you want for yourself for some and it's like for others your abundance is being blocked by somebody else so say you're with somebody this knight of cups it's like your prince charming but like what if it's not really your prince charming because <clears throat> some of you haven't healed from a situation you know um or maybe somebody feels like they sliced their own throat and, and now they can't have a reconciliation. So it's like they feel hung up, but it, it's mental. It is, it's not using the right type of emotion. So it's like, if I'll put it this way. If you're really unfulfilled, okay? If there's that one thing, really think about what that is. Put your heart, soul, your emotion into it. Try to find passion there. And if you can't, then it's, it's not where you should be. Because they want you right now to follow your passion. Follow the divine. Somebody's hearing, seeing synchronicities, music, songs. If you're seeing your, if you're seeing them, it's like you're ignoring them. You're not looking into them, especially with numbers. It's like oh yada yada yada, but like you're not, you're not going into like Google and, and being like, what's the what's the definition? What's the spiritual meaning of you know eleven twenty two? Or it's like you're not you're not backing it up. It's you're dismissing something. It's like you see it, but it's just like dismissed. You know? Um, so it's like you're really hanging yourself up when it comes to whatever situationship this is. Whether it's, it's a lover, a best friend, a, whatever it is, okay? It's like this healing needs to take place. And until you can put emotion into it, and speak from your soul, that abundance is going to have to wait, you know. Um, and I don't want nobody sitting in, you know, that feeling of not being successful, not being able to move forward. Like, that's it's, that's no fun. <clears throat> so I will put it this way. If you're waiting for this Knight of Cups and you're unhappy and you got no one in your life and you're waiting for Prince Charming to come in, in psh, Sorry. Prince Chaman will not come in until you start taking care of yourself, until you come first, until you can find your passion, until you find you're happy, until you, you've healed from a situation. Okay, so it's like there's a few different situations on the board, so I hope I um, covered them so everybody kind of is seeing something, but something needs to be illuminated, and until emotions are expressed, you know, is some people are going to stay in that very unfulfilled direction. Because that's what this is telling me. Until you find your pa passion, until you absorb these emotions, until you speak from your soul, your heart, your mind, your body, you nourish what needs to be nourished. This wheel is not going to budge. Looks like there's some a decision when it comes to a lover. So again, if you're waiting for this person just to come in and, and make you feel better about yourself in the situation, yeah, it's, that wheel's not going to budge until you're content and you're happy with who you are and you're seeking your own passions. And then others, you know, it's like they won't get that abundance, whether it's health or wealth, whatever it is, until they come in and, and heal the situation. It's just, it, it is what it is. Sometimes there's, there's no way around. There's free will. So if you stay stuck and in stubborn energy, then it's your own free will. Then you stay stagnant and, and constantly repeat the same lesson. That's not fun either, you know? So we're checking in a few more days and kind of see what's going on. But my best advice I can give you is, is really um, find your passion person place a thing find your passion again so that way a person place a thing 
you know, can come into your life. Whatever it is that one thing you're waiting on, go find your passion. Okay? Love you, troops. Talk soon. Bye.